So I'm gonna break the video down into four parts for you guys. The first part is how to download Java. The second part is gonna be how to download mod packs off of CurseForge because it's super easy to do it that way. How to download Forge and how to download custom mod packs like your friends make are the one I'm gonna be showing you guys today that I made for my TikTok community. So with that little out of the way, I'm gonna show you guys why we're gonna need Java first. Cause Java is really important for all mods and you're probably gonna need it for everything. So let's open up your browser. This can be Firefox, Google, Internet Explorer, you do you, I'm not gonna judge. Okay, so now what you want to do is to just type in Java, or I'm going to leave a link down in the description. You can just follow that. So Java Oracle download. So you're going to come to this page right here, just agree and start download. Now the bottom left right here, or bot yeah, bottom left, you're going to get that, right? Perfectly easy about is download, right? You can close out of this now. So now what you want to do is come to your folder, go to your downloads. I'm going to bring this over here because I'm on my other monitor. Now you see this right here? This is the job, your EXE is what you're gonna be using to download Java. Drag this on here on your desktop so it just makes it easier to hold and just make sure you can have easier to see everything. All right, click on this bad boy. Now it's gonna say, it might say something like this. It's okay, just hit run. And now we're gonna get this down here. Wanna make changes to your device? Yes. Now, this is where you're gonna download Java. I already have it installed. If you want, you can change the destination folder and it'll ask you where you wanna do it. But if you get to this point, just make sure you just download Java and you should be good to go. And just show you guys, I'm not BSing you. I'm also downloading it right now too. So you guys can feel safe about what you're doing. Cause if we mess up our computer, I'm going to mess it up with you guys. And boom, there you go. You have successfully installed Java and all this and that. You can end that, you can end that, blah, blah, blah. Can't speak. You can delete this. And we're going to move on to the next part and how to download mods off of Forge. And we're just going to lose this little app right here. We'll come to this in a minute. So once again, we're back on our Google page or your Internet Explorer Firefox. Type in C-U-R-S-E, Cursed Forge. Or I'll leave a link in the description like I will. Here you go. Now you're gonna get to this page. This page, you wanna click on Minecraft and it'll automatically should take you to mod packs. Here we go. All these mod, mod packs. Now I'm just gonna pick a random mod pack. I would pick the mod, one I'm using, but sadly it's uh, still being approved, so. It's under review, so we're gonna have to not do that. Let's go over classic, RLCraft. So what you wanna do, just come press install. Now it's gonna ask you to download an app. Do not be scared of this app. I'm telling you, CurseForge is a really good site. It does not have any viruses. I've never gotten a virus from this site as, as myself. I've just always been careful, but I'm still gonna download the app. Now here we go, download for Windows. And now you should get this down here, this EXE. You can close out of here now. Go to your downloads once again. Here we go. Bring this over to your desktop. Close that out. And now you're gonna get installer. This thing can't be reached, just run. Yes. Now I already have a Curse Forge right here. You see right here, I already have it downloaded. Now once you get to the point where I'm at right now, we have the little application on your screen. You can just delete this. Now since I already have it downloaded, you just come over here, open this up. And now you should get this. This should be something that opens up on your screen. So now what you can do now is browse mod, mod packs and here's all the mods that were here. I'm just gonna go download RL Craft. Now press install. Now you can see it's downloading RL Craft. It's unzipping everything. It's even downloading Forge and everything that has in the mod pack you need to run it. This is the easy way of downloading mod packs. Now right now it should be installing your mods. If it's not, then it's probably gonna take a minute but it should be installing all your mods right now. All right, now once this gets installed, all you have to do is just press play. And now it's gonna pull up your Minecraft launcher. Here we go, see, it even has the forge installed and everything, you just hit play. I understand the risk, and play. Now right now what it's doing is putting your, putting the mods into the mod folder and it's downloading every mod into your computer. Now here we go, as you can see, it's now <laughs> downloading everything and it's, well, it's doing stuff with the mods. And right now all it really is doing is just loading in the mods into Minecraft, so you don't have to worry about if it's what it's doing like this. It's just part of the mod pack. All right, here we go. We can see it loaded up and we can see, thank you, Shivix. <laughs> and all this from the RL Craft, you can just go into here. Start a new world up. I'm just gonna go into a creative one. And you can see all the mod loading in. All right, now here we go. As you can see, we're in the mod pack right now. Uh, Well, we're kind of balling out. We have weapons. We have all of this and now the mods are loaded in. Yep. And you can see here, we're in creative mode so we can see all the mods that got downloaded. Looks like everything got added in correctly. Yep. All right. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to go and download this from like a Google Drive or, or how to download Forge now. 
Okay, so now we're going to be downloading Forge. This is mostly used for mainly any mods, most mod packs. There's also a Fabric version, but today we're going to just be downloading Forge. So the mod pack me and my TikTok community made is mainly 1.16.5, so we have to go and download that for Forge. I already have it installed, but I can show you guys how to do it anyway. So we're going to type in Forge, or you can go in the link down below, again in the description. It's super easy to download it, so Minecraft Forge. Now you can see here we have the latest ones. We're just going to download this, press the installer. Now here's an important moment, all right? Do not click on anything on this page, right? You see this up here? We're gonna wait this amount of time. It's gonna be a couple of seconds, it's not gonna be that bad. Press skip, and now there we go. Bottom left, we have forge, press keep. All right, close this out, exit. Now we can open up our downloads right here in your downloads. Move this over to your desktop. All right, so now we wanna install it, right? So we have this bad boy here we want to install. Open. Yes. And now it's just going to do all this. Building in process. All right, and here we go. You'll get this message. Successfully installed client profile forge for 1.16.5. Press OK. And now I'm going to show you guys how to download custom mod packs that's not on Forge. Let's say via Google Drive, right? So for anyone who's here from TikTok who wants to download the mod pack, I have the Google Drive ready with all the mods. So that's what we're going to be using as an example. Now, for anyone who does want to download Forge, I'm right now I'm still waiting on it to be approved. So it's probably going to take a day or two. I know I did it earlier this morning, or I should say later last night. But it still takes a while for the stuff to get approved because it got to be a human actually interviewing it and watching it and, and seeing everything in there is okay. So here's how you download a third party mod pack, I guess you can say, or just a uh, one that your friend made from Google Drive. Okay, so first off, you're gonna need to get the link from your friend that the Google Drive that has the mod pack. Luckily for us, I have it right here. Anyone can go here to download. It's also gonna be in the description down below. So if you wanna download it from the Google Drive, you can. So I'm gonna go into here and I'm just gonna go into incognito mode. You guys don't have to do that. I'm just doing it so you can see more of what your perspective would be. So go up here, paste your link. And here we go. As you can see, here's all the mods down here in the folders. Here's the name of it. And here we go, download all. So you can see in the bottom right here, it's gonna take a minute to zip all these mods up. So just give it a minute and it'll be loaded and it will come back to you guys in a second. All right, as you can see, it downloaded and it downloaded down here. It got done downloading for me a couple seconds ago. So we can exit out of here. Now we're gonna go to our downloads again. Here we go. There it is right there. Now it's gonna be zipped. Now you cannot just plop this into your mod folder yet. So this is what we're gonna have to do. So you're gonna take this, place this onto your desktop. Now we can close this out or minimize it, whatever you want. So this is going to be a little tricky, but just stay with me. So you're going to right click this, extract all. Now this is going to tell you where you want to extract this all. You just say extract. For me, it's, I'm going to do these. For me, I'm going to put it on my desktop just because I want to keep it there. Now here we go again. If we can see here it is. It's all right here, all the mods, or it's right over here on our desktop. All right, so here's what you want to do now, right? You're going to hit your Windows key plus R. And you're gonna get this over here, run. Now type in this exact phrase right here, percentage, app data, percentage. This is gonna take you to Minecraft, your Minecraft folders. Once you get that typed in, press okay. Now come over here, see Minecraft. Now, if you come down here, you should see a mods folder. If you don't, that's okay. Just right click new and make a mo new folder that specifically says mods, lowercase and everything. Once you do that, you wanna open up your mod folder and you can see everything is opened up. I already have alt define here just because I like to use alt define. Pull this over here, our TikTok craft folder, our mod pack. Open this up. Open it one more time. You're going to take all of these and just chuck them right over there. You don't have to worry about this. It's just for me just because I have alt define in there. Press skip this file. All right, close it out. Now, here you go. Here's all the mods that downloaded, right? Here's all the mods I downloaded from TikTok from my friends or quote unquote my friends custom mod pack. These are all mine. So close this out now. Now we want to start up Minecraft. Now, once you get to the Minecraft launcher, right? It should be right down here. This should be Forge 16.5, right? 1.16.5. If you don't see it, don't panic. I'm going to show you guys how to get to there. First off, go to your installations, right? Now you want to pick new installation. We're going to just name this. 1.16.5 I'm just gonna change the icon to make it more recognizable you don't have to do this now 
our latest version we're going to go down here and there you go right here you should see something like this right we're going to click this one press create and there you go now you should be able to use that one now what i'm going to do i'm going to use this forge one right here and i'll press play i understand and play we're going to give it a moment just to load up all the mods and for everything to be ready all right and there we go as you can see we have all these mods loaded up my game just now loaded up so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to single player make sure everything's working create new world create it once again and start new world up and here we go everything's load up let me make sure all my mods are here yes sir we have all our mods here next page all our mods are also oh i didn't go to the next page i'm sorry <laughs> next page all our mods are here once again next page all our mods are here once again everything loaded in smoothly soundly everything's running nice even check out the map see how everything is looking there we go and look there's my little icon right there all right thank you guys for watching we got to the end of the video i appreciate it if you have any questions leave them down below i'll try to answer them to the best of my ability i want you guys to make sure you stay safe while downloading stuff because it can be dangerous on the internet and hey if you guys like minecraft mods or you just learned something new you can hit the subscribe button help me out a lot make sure you guys like the video and like i said if you have any problems leave them down in the comments below thank you guys for watching